Welcome to Adapting Class. Growth and development in peach usually show up. They have to show up because they are classic nursing care. If you don't know what a six month old should be doing, this is the 12 month old that can cost you. So in this video, I'm going to go through the most known milestone from birth to 12 months using 10 IELT questions, but we're going to use common sense buzzwords key. I'm going to give you strategy to identify it without no memorizing. It. So let's get to it. Stick around and let's go through this easily as much as possible. First question, really from the back, which statement by the nurse is accurate regarding when a baby typically sits with that support? The buzzword you have to identify. And after you identify the buzzword, you can use it to answer the question. What is the problem? Sits without support. Then read the stem of the question. A nurse is teaching a new mother about infant development. All of it is irrelevant. The keyword and the buzzword that you should focus on is what? Sits without support. How do you answer this question? Look at it, the statement the nurse made. Most babies can sit unsupported by two months. Sit, sitting alone usually happen around four months. Your baby will likely sit alone by six months. Sitting without help doesn't happen until 12 months. Four answers, two months, four months, six months, and 12 months. Think about it. The clue, if you don't know it, the strategy to answer this question, the common sense one is, a, is, is just a buzzword. The buzzword that at six months, think about it as the halfway halfway point halfway point the kid is growing to one year and now they are halfway they should be able to have muscle strength and balance that is the halfway and that is the buzzword in development from zero to 12 months the halfway you should have a balance and you should have strength therefore they should be able to sit unsupported right your baby will likely sit alone by six months because they have strength and they have balance. At 12 months old, the baby can sit unsupported, does not have strength and balance, right? The four months old, they still has not get there. By 12 months, they should have achieved that ability. So don't forget, six months is halfway. They have strength and muscle, therefore, and they have achieved balance. Therefore, they should sit unsupported. This is the strategy, common sense way. Next one, which action should the nurse expect the infant to perform? An infant, right? That's the buzzword. The buzzword, we're talking about infant. A nurse is assessing the fine motor skills of a nine-month-old. Fine, not gross. Fine, underlying the fine motor. That means very, very fine motor. And therefore, how do you answer this question? Buzzword. I want you to write all the key things I'm going to tell you, the common sense strategy. At nine months, if I'm taking this test, I'll just write, this is the what? The grabby. I call it grabby. G-A-B-B-Y. The grabby baby stage. The grabby baby stage is what they do. They are very curious. They basically will move around. They coordinate their hands. So they are grabby. Grabby is nine months. Very curious. They want to figure out what is going on and they grab things with their hands. Therefore, what do you think? Bang two blocks together. Yes, they should be able to be banging things. They have a fine uh, strength. Transfer object from one hand to another. You should have what? A fine motor skills to be able to do that. Use pencil grab to pick up a small item. By nine months, they should be able to do that. So they start banging things um, by the six months. Then they transfer object from their hand from six to 12 months. Then they start having pencil grab by nine months. Build a two block object. They don't have that ability, right? Scribble with the crayon. They don't have that ability. That require more than that. It's to require a lot of skills to be able to scribble with the crayon. 
But just know that these people are grabbers. So anything they can grab and push it, moving it around is better. Grabbing things at nine months is what these people will do. So one, two, three is their key milestone. Don't forget, nine months are grabber babies. Number three, during a web baby visit, which statement by the parent of a four-month-old require follow-up? Same thing. Keyword is four months. We're dealing with infant. Therefore, what do you think? She tends to sound and smile at me. Okay. She holds her head up during timing time. Okay. She can sit by herself for 10 minutes. Okay. She put her hands in her mouth and bat, and bat at the toy. Can you figure it out? Stop the video, answer the question, and figure it out. But I'll give you the keywords. The buzzword is what? The buzzword is what? It's a four-month-old. We want to know if what the parent is telling you is the wrong thing. Whenever you see that kind of question, don't overthink it. I said common sense, right? Don't overthink it. The nurse has to intervene. Either the mother is doing something wrong or the baby is doing something wrong and the mother is allowing. The key is if mother allow baby to do things more than their age, that is a red flag. That is the, what this question is asking you. If parents say a baby is doing things like a nine month old, a 12 month old, and they are less than that age, it's a red flag. When you see a question, baby is overperforming their age, it's a red flag. That's safety question. Therefore, what she tends to sound and smile, four months should be able to do that, right? Localization. She holds her head up during term time. She's trying to get up, practicing to get up to turn around. She can sit herself up for 10 minutes. No, they don't have balance and they don't have muscle strength. We saw that six months, they should be doing that. Four months, you don't have that strength. Therefore, mommy is allowing the baby to sit. You see, common sense, you're going by that. The key is baby doing things more than they're supposed to do. It's a red flag intervention. She put her hand in her mouth and bat at the toy. That's fine. Therefore, three, we got to intervene. Four, which milestone is appropriate at six months? In the middle, I told you, they are the middle guys. The nurse is teaching a group of new parents about expected language development. In the middle, don't overthink it. Think about it. I'm in the middle. Therefore, I can make, I, I won't be able to understand things, but I can make small, small sounds, right? What do you say? Say two word phrases. Can you do that? Bubble consonant, uh, consonant sounds, right? Point to objects. Say mama, dada, with meaning. What do you think? A four a, 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 a six months old, what should they be doing at this stage? The key word, they are in the middle. So when they are in the middle, baby in the halfway, what do they do? They can talk, but it doesn't have meaning. Like I said, the same thing. Halfway, they can sit, but they can't walk. They have strength. They can stay in the middle. At six months, I can say things, but I have no meaning. So baby can talk halfway, but the rare meaning, they don't have it. The rare meaning comes later. Right, so I can say mommy, daddy with meaning. No, I can do that. I can point to object that's too much for them. Is right, they can do that. They can say two words, they can babble, they can say dada, mama, dada, dada, but they have no meaning. Word without meaning is the key for six months old. So, babble with consonant sound. So, that is number two. And I'm using strategy to tell you how you can figure out this. A 12 month old is brought in for a wear baby checkup, 12 month, which finding are expected at this age. Same thing, I've moved from the middle, now I'm all the way up. I've finished my milestone, I've grown. Think about it, you don't have to memorize. Start from one month old, now 12, I'm moving to the next stage. I should be doing things that I should show that I've grown, right? What is the key? 12 months old, which is one year. My strategy for you is one step, one word, and triple the weight. 
That's the buzzword. If you know that, every time they give you a 12 month old, think about it. 12 month old baby is one step, right? One step, one word, and triple weight. So your weight is going to is, is going to triple three times. You're going to say one word and you take one step. Therefore, what is that? Walk without help, triple birth weight, use a spoon independently, say three to five words, build a tower of three blocks. I've given you the keys. One word, one step, and triple weight. Therefore, what is the answer? Stop the video, put down your answer, and think about it. What do you think? I say one, I can I can take one step, therefore walk without help. Because if I can sit and now 12 months, I can take a step, I can walk without help. And a B, triple my birth weight. That's good. Use a spoon independently. You don't have that kind of fine motor development. They can do that, right? Say three to uh, um three to five words, what do you think? Say a few words, right? They can say a few words, three to five words, right? And then build a tower of three blocks. So at least they can say some first word, one step, and what? Triple. Therefore, they can do something. Three to five words is within the range of saying one word. So that is enough at 12 months. So they can be able to say something related to that, right? Just a few words, say some few words is enough. Three to five is a few words. So one, two, and four are the right answer for this particular question. They can be difficult, but think about it. I'm giving you the buzzwords. Number six, what do you think? A nurse is caring for a 10-month-old. Which of the following is the most appropriate toy to promote the development? Every time you see this kind of question, go back to the age group. 10-month-old. What do we want? We want them to start draw, developing a gross motor skills, right? Gross motor skills. Avoid any tiny object. Avoid any hot supply. Avoid any bubbling or rattling object. We want them to develop gross motor at 10 months. Therefore, what do you think? A stuffed animal, a rattle, a soft object, or a crayon? What is going to give them a gross model activity, right? Soft ball to roll back and forth. This is appropriate for a 10 month old because we want them to have a gross model. Staff animal, rattle, and crayon and paper, these are objects you should avoid. They are art supply, they're bubbling and they're rattling objects. So, gross model is the key. Therefore, three is the right answer. And it's number seven. And then assessing a six-month-old during the well, a wellness visit. Which finding is the most concerning and required follow-up? The same thing. That means you're seeing something that is not supposed to be there. Therefore, you got to look for it. Six months old, in the middle. I roll from my back to the front. I smile at familiar faces. I have a weak babbling sound. I sit with slight support. I told you, six months old, they can sit with that support. The word slide there, don't freak out. It's just telling you a little bit of support, small pillow is enough. But baby is probably doing his own, in his own. If he can sit up, then he can roll from back to front. That's how you can get yourself up. And you should be able to have social smile. You can, when you see objects that you know, you should be able to do that. You know they should be saying, mommy, daddy, baba, that's babbling, baby talk. There is no baby talk here. A quiet baby is not a good thing. They should be babbling. So weak babbling sound is a bad thing. So three is, we got to intervene. Number eight, and then she's observing a one-month-old. Which developmental behaviors are expected at this age? One-month-old. That's the beginning. One, 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 one. What is the clue? Common sense. You don't have to think too much. Every time they give you the age, step back. Baby just born. Six months. No, six weeks then. No, four weeks. 
they, what can they do? They are in the baby stage. So think about newborn stage. Newborn stage is all reflexes, okay? They have no control and they're weak. No control and weak. One month, that's the clue. That's the common sense answer to answer this question. I have no control. I have weak and all I have is reflexes. Therefore, I fix on the face. I'm looking straight. I can't turn. I don't look. Just looking at it, right? I smile socially when people look at me. I lift my head up briefly from a prone position, right? I roll from belly to my back, and I have a strong grasp reflex. What did I say? Reflexes, number one. Therefore, five is the first one. I fix an object because I have no control. I'm weak. And I have muscle strength issue that I cannot control it. Therefore, I fixed on one object and my head will be bubbling, right? I can't smile socially because I cannot identify what I'm looking at. I can lift my head up briefly from the prone position. That is weakness. You can do it. Rolling from belly to back, that requires a lot of strength. Therefore, number one, number three, number five. These are all newborn, one-month-old can do it. But think about it. Don't memorize it. And this one is the same thing. What is the next best response? A parent of a seven-month-old asks when to expect the first teeth. What is the next best response? Teething is what? Buzzword. Let me give you the buzzword. Whenever you see a question, you see I give you a bunch of buzzword and common sense tips. Six months old, the way I remember it, you're going to have a spoon and you're going to have a teeth. That's all. Six mantles. I'm in the middle, like I told you. I can say bubbling. I can say mama, dada, and I have, I have to have a teeth. And I can have a spoon. The other way to remember them, teeth comes around when you start solid food. Therefore, when do you start solid food? Six months, right? So at that stage, that's when they should be able to do that. Therefore. What should it? It's usually to, it's unusual to have a teeth before twelve months. That's not true. The first two things usually come in at ten months. That's too late. You can expect the first tooth around six to ten months. That's good. Baby don't get it until they can walk. That's not true. That is twelve months. No, they can get one six. I said six months when you introduce you start introducing solid or when you have spoon. So six months is the best answer. And the last one, using common sense, right? Which gross motor skills are typically seen in an eight-month-old? And next is teaching the parent about motor milestone. So which one is good? This is the key. Eight months, I give you all the buzzword, two months, four months, six months, 10 months. And now eight months, the buzzword is what? They can sit, they can scoop, and they can pull, right? They are mobile babies, right? They are not grabbers. The grabbers are the nine months old, but these are the mobile babies. They move around. They want to explore everything. So they've not attained a lot of strength to move, right? So they can sit, they can scoop, they can pull themselves up, right? So crawling and creeping, that's they're trying to move around, right? Sitting unsupported, is basically because the past six months they can sit unsupported. Walking with as assistant, they've not even start walking. They start walking like nine months. So they will not even get up to walk with assistant. So that's a trap, number three. Standing independently, if you cannot walk, you can't stand independently, right? Therefore, three and four contradict each other. You can't pick it. Pull themselves up to stand, right? They're trying to get up and start walking slowly. Therefore, the right answer is one, two, and five. Ten questions, test-taking strategy, using common sense. These things are usually difficult, but you can figure it out by thinking about it. See, watch this video, write down everything I said about two months, four months. These are key, slow information, little information you can use as a common sense and a buzzword to answer these milestone questions. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, put a comment. If you see a question you don't like, put a comment and I will reply. Take care of yourself and bye.